Age 42, Colombian goalkeeper Farid Mondragon isn't just the oldest player at this World Cup, he's also its link to the tournament's darkest ever moment. Mondragon was a backup player in his country's 1994 World Cup squad, a squad that the Colombian nation believed was destined for greatness. The country's drug cartels had allegedly pumped money into Colombian football, creating a competitive national league that allowed a talented crop of players to thrive. But the cartels didn't just bring their money. The players found themselves surrounded by violence, intimidation, and what turned out to be an intolerable pressure to succeed. Two straight defeats saw Colombia eliminated. A spectacular own goal by captain Andreas Escobar capped the humiliation on the pitch. 11 days later, Escobar was shot dead in a nightclub car park in his hometown of Medellin. A disastrous World Cup campaign had ended with a player losing his life. The current squad that Farid Mondragon is part of is Colombia's most fancied since Escobar's time. But while expectations are once again enormous, Colombia is a country much changed from the one where football truly did become a matter of life and death.